Our next two stories focus on people who prove that no matter how tough things get, brave spirits will do their heroic best to overcome. In April, we brought you the story of Ben Hickenui, who lost his legs in a cardboard compacting machine. He nearly lost his life too, but he managed to hang on to the ledge until help came. A keen sportsman, he had only recently moved with his family to New Plymouth from Palmerston North. But Hikanui is a fighter. He's gone about getting back on his feet, brand new ones, which were fitted a month ago. Emma Keeling went to see how he's getting on. It's a routine Ben Hikanui has had to get used to. His body's moving on from the accident that claimed his legs, but his mind hasn't. Just like little flash, flashbacks on, you know, uh, when I'm walking up the conveyor belt and she's falling down, down the chute. Yeah, that bit hard to, you know, people ask me questions about it, but hard to try and get out. And then, you know, just don't like, you know, talking about that part of the, the accident, where, real, where it happened. Mm. This was the cardboard bailing machine that changed everything. But day by day, he and his family have adjusted and moved on. I gave up work just to, yeah, to be with Ben and help him out, help, uh, help us out actually. Being together helps us work through what we need to. Despite the many bad days, Hikanui's managed to find a few silver linings. For a start, not working has given him more time to hang out with Graham Presney. So now we've just got to do it. Yeah. With no legs. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be right, mate. Yep, easy. Good mates, except when it comes to league, these two love to chat. Fishing is a favourite topic. Presnig taught his neighbour how to fish off the shores of New Plymouth, and already they're planning how to get Hikanui back into the kayak. Absolutely blowing everybody away, yeah. We see him, oh, at least three or four times a week, and it's every day is just getting better and better. And Presney's not the only one saying that. Three times a week, Hekanui heads to the hospital for physio treatment and has made quick progress on the legs he received a month ago. Ben's pretty determined and motivated anyway. And um, uh, I think because Ben has quite big long-term goals, it's really helped push him through the rehab process. So, um, yeah, he's done really well. And... Um, to be at this stage so soon after having his legs is really quite impressive. So, yeah. Do two more of those. Hikanui is full of surprises, but he saved the best for his partner. Uh, I asked um, Chrissy to marry me on her birthday, her 40th birthday, um, they had for her in July. Yeah. What, what made you want to do that? Oh, I'm not too sure. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy was speechless, but after 19 years of waiting and then nearly losing her man, she'll know what to say on the big day. So when are you going to get married? Oh, I don't know. Um... The sooner the better. <laughs> no. <laughs> when, he's, when he's walking, when he's up walking, and yeah, he can... I think I might meet him at the aisle. Might be a nice change instead of me walking up. Be quite emotional, so... Yeah, it'll be cool.